Come here, bud. <laughs> Guys, what is happening? Good afternoon, good evening almost, from Hollywood. I am in LA, I'm not really sure how I got here, or what's going on. <laughs> I'm staying at a friend's house. This is my little friend Pico, by the way. His name's Pico, which is Hawaiian for belly button, because he likes belly button scratches. You've probably seen the previous vlogs. I've just finished with Disney out here in LA, done a five day trip with them for a D23 Expo, which is like the big Disney fan event. And then obviously we hit the parks, California Adventure, Disneyland, had an epic five, six days. And long story short, I thought it's time to do a little sit down chat. It's been a while, a lot has been going on in my life. I'm here, I'm not really sure how I made it here, I'm literally living in Hollywood for the next month. Um, so yeah, grab a cup of tea, get some biscuits in, get yourself comfy like Pico is, and I don't know where I'm going to start but I've got some notes on my phone <laughs> and we're just going to talk it through. So I guess first thing to address is the Lauren situation. Yes, me and Lauren decided to uh, separate, it was about six weeks ago now, um, so I'm absolutely fine. Please don't worry about me. I did make an announcement on Instagram, which I thought would cover most bases. No, I don't really want to go into too much details. The reason I didn't really mention it in any of the vlogs, because I thought, I just want to let it blow over, do my own thing, but I know that there's still a lot of you on YouTube that probably don't follow me on Instagram, and that have missed a message. And I started getting a few comments, and I'm still getting comments every day saying, where's Lauren? So yeah, we decided to part ways at the end of July. Um, there's not really much to say, just unfortunately, paths ended up going in different directions. I think our relationship had run its course, um, and yeah, it was amicable, uh, it, it had probably been coming uh, for a few months, but still hit me quite hard when it did happen. Um, had a rough couple of weeks, spent a lot of time with my family and friends, and now I am on top of the world. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm very positive and excited about my future. The boat we did buy together, we're going to have to figure that out at some point. So I'm probably going to put that up for sale and split the money. The van I bought, so that was always mine, and I bought Lauren out of the business at the beginning of the year. When we were fine and there was no talks of splitting up, uh, just because she didn't really want to do social media anymore, and it was always my baby and my project. So there's all the information about that. Got to say, I wish her no hard feelings. We still have a, a decent enough relationship. We're not really speaking at the minute because obviously I think it's all a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, I have no hard feelings towards her. I hope she finds her happiness and, and I'll support her whatever she does and obviously hope you guys do the same. But for now, the Charlie Pauly show must continue. I'm glad you're still with me. I appreciate all the support over the past six weeks. Um, yeah, like I say, it took a bit of a dip, but we are definitely on the rise, man. I moved to London um, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm back in Canning Town with the guys in Canning Town. Um, had a few jobs and networking opportunities going on in London. Uh, stayed with them and looked after Ragnar for a week, which you probably saw through Instagram. And then I just thought, you know what? This is a good place for me to be right now. I was around friends, around good energy. Uh, the buzz of London really got me. And, and like I say, there's great opportunities there for me to keep pushing forward with work. Work is absolutely booming, as you can probably tell. Um, I'll move on to that in a minute. But yeah, in terms of the boat situation, probably gonna sell that within the next couple of months. But for me, I am definitely gonna buy another boat. So get rid of that one, split the money with Lauren. That's, uh, that cuts all the ties. And then I'm already on the lookout for another boat project. So probably a little bit bigger so that I can fit a shower, or maybe a washing machine if I'm lucky, and still have that great base as a kind of a cheap investment um, back in the Fenlands. Uh, but for now, yeah, I've got the next three months with my friends in Canning Town. And I'm actually, yeah, out here for a month in LA. Aside from that, I have been busy, man. People always say, keep yourself busy when you go through a breakup. I've done exactly that. Like I say, I had time to reflect. I had a bit of a sad down period, but then it was like, let's go. We have to push forward. So I documented the Lake District vlog with Josh who came along and we'd done the camping thing. And then we moved up to Edinburgh to meet up with uh, a gang of friends. There's six of us who met back in Madeira. And we've kept a very close knit little WhatsApp group. And we're trying to plan trips in left, right and center. The two girls live in East London as well, so I've been catching up with them a lot. And then there's a guy called Eli who's out in West London, Josh who's in Ireland, and Hayley who is from down south somewhere, but she's actually up in Edinburgh. So we decided to just go up to Edinburgh for Fringe Festival. I didn't vlog it because I wanted to enjoy time with my friends, but there is a highlight again on Instagram. I always try and keep up to date with my daily stories. Had an awesome time. Just a long weekend there with everybody. We cooked up some food, we went out for drinks, caught some comedy shows. Fringe Festival, if you haven't done it, I highly recommend it next year. It's an absolute buzz up in Scotland. From there, I went back to London, looked after Ragnar, then shot home, grabbed the camper van, and went back out to Van Life Eats. Again, didn't vlog it, but I caught up with all the guys, Will, Neil and Emma, Lou and Em, uh, Tash and John and Darren, and yeah, there was a lot of people there within the van community. Met some new faces as well, and just genuinely had a great time. Mark and Sophie that put on Van Life Eats are the nicest couple ever. Um, I vlogged it last year, so if you type it in or search my channel, you can go and watch what it's all about. But it's essentially camper van life people 
getting together in a field. It's a festival limited to 500 people and a lot of it revolves around good vibes, campfires, live music, food demonstrations, cooking workshops, good food, picnics. Um, it's, yeah, Van Life Eats Big Picnic is the name of the festival and I'll definitely be there next year. So that was a great weekend away. Dropped the van off, went straight back to London and had a week before I flew out to Disney to promote their expo going on in Anaheim, which as you probably saw from the video was absolutely overwhelming. Um, it was like, a, it's almost like a Comic Con, but just for Disney fans. So people are dressing up, all the characters are out in force. They they had some big names there as well and they also announced a lot of the upcoming stuff for the next few years within the Disney parks around the world. So that was a big career highlight for me man, like obviously last month done the uh, Florida, Disney World and the Disney Wish cruise ship, that was huge and then off the back of that for Disney to say look Charlie we want you to come again straight out to LA the following month, it's one of the biggest brands in the world and yeah definitely the whole thing is just like a, a bit of an imposter syndrome thing but I'm learning to deal with the fact that I am good enough and I am that guy that can work with these brands. So yeah, it's huge, it's huge for me. Um, so long story short, when Disney reached out to me and said, look, we've got a five day trip to LA, we're booking the flights. I said, is there any chance I can extend them, take the opportunity to come out to LA and uh, you know stay on afterwards and do some stuff? They said, yeah, yeah, just give us a date. So I messaged my friend Kylie, who I've been connected with for about six years. I started a clothing brand on Instagram called Wanderers and Warriors, which is now my travel blog. And I was like printing and selling um, travel related t-shirts and trying to do like an e-commerce. Well, I was doing an e-commerce online store and it was going quite well, built a little following. Kylie and her twin sister were two of my first ever customers. And obviously we got connected through Instagram. Then I got with Lauren, we went off and done the whole traveling thing over the past six years. We actually met Kylie back in 2019 in LA, just for a day when we came over and done a job for Lufthansa. She was a great crack. And basically I just messaged her and said, Kylie, what's your situation? Are you still in LA? Do you have a sofa for me to crash on? She said, yes, I have actually bought a house in Hollywood, which was like, what's going on? She said, I've got a spare room, stay for as long as you want. So it was just like, Social media is a crazy world, man, and I'm just in the position now where I'm like, the world is my oyster, I've got obviously a bit of money behind me, the boat's there, the flat in London's there, what do I have to lose? Let's get going, man. So I said, okay, cool, I'm gonna extend till the end of September, give me three weeks at your place. She said, no worries, left me a key out, and I caught an Uber over after I finished with Disney and literally arrived here last night. So me and Kylie caught up last night briefly after work, we went for dinner, it was absolutely like, I'm in Hollywood, it's absolute madness. I'll drop the clips in, I've got a little bit of B-roll from last night to show you what we got up to. All right guys, touchdown Hollywood, my head's all over the place, it's a madness. My friend Kylie, Kylie say hello. <laughs> We're off straight out for dinner, man. Uh, I've been looking after the dog this afternoon, but yeah, it's hungry and it's sunset time. <laughs> Guys, big feeds. I've been needing this one, man. Big Hollywood feeds. We've got some kind of roasted cauliflower. We've got like falafel wraps. We smash through the top of truffle fries. Also, I'm not hogging it this end. I am sharing it with Kylie. I promise I'm sharing it. I just got it in for the video. You know, sometimes I just think to myself, how did I get here? <laughs> I'm still not quite sure. We're just winging it through life, but it is 9.30. Me and Kylie are just cruising through Hollywood. So as you can see, it's all a whirlwind. It's all a whirlwind, but I'm just rolling with it. So I've got like three weeks now. Me and Kylie are going to plan some stuff in. I've been on some apps, like got some connections, networking away. Going to go out and do some exploring, make some awesome videos for you guys. I'm really going to try and smash LA. We're going to go Hollywood. We're going to go Runyon Canyon. We're going to go Venice Beach. We're going to catch a ferry over to Catalina, hopefully. Catalina Island. Camp over there. You can do some wild camping. Going to hit Joshua Tree if we can. Go into the national parks. So if there's anything you want to see or that I need to see while I'm here in Los Angeles, make sure you let me know in the comments, drop me all your recommendations because tomorrow I'm going to be making a plan and trying to get some uh, ideas together. So before I move on, I will quickly grab the camera and I'll give you a little tour of exactly where I'm staying. Um, we're just on the edge of Hollywood and it's East Hollywood, so it's like Melrose Hill if you look at it on a map. So welcome to the crib, man. As you come in the front door, the table is normally pushed back and tidy. I've just messed it up for my filming situation. Pico's chilling on the big sofa. Got a little kitchen there. It's a beautiful place, man. She's done a cool job with it. Straight into the living area, little pantry over there, and then big chills with the TV. No doubt we'll get some Netflix in at some point. Got like a little dining area here or a workspace, which is ideal for me when I have downtime. And then this is my room. It's a bit of a mess. I just arrived last night, dropped all my stuff on the floor, but look at me. I've got a full double bedroom. Coming down the corridor, there's like another spare bedroom here. I've got myself a little, oh, I'm making a mess of the place. Got myself a little bathroom set up. Honestly, 
<laughs> As I'm walking around showing you this, I'm just thinking to myself, how, how have I winged this? But we're good, man. Got big, full waterfall shower. Got like the laundry room there. Outside, it's such a cool layout as well. Outside, there's like a little patio area which is done very cool and there's like a gas fire thing going on. As you can see, my camera is still bust. I need to go and get that sorted tomorrow. So I'm still filming on Maureen's Canon 60D. I need to drop that off to her at some point. If you missed the last one, I broke my camera on Splash Mountain at Disney and then one of my followers came through and basically just gave me the camera for as long as I need it, which is an absolute blessing. And then as you come around the end, Kylie's room which is very cool. She won't mind me showing you around. She did say you can film whatever you want, which is very cool. And then she's got like a little toilet and shower there. So that's my quick run through version of MTV Cribs. This is the Hollywood home that I'm going to be staying in until the 2nd of October. What is it, Pico? <laughs> he's nervous, bless him. He's 10 years old. He shakes a little bit. Kylie said he's got a bit of anxiety, but he's a, he's a cool dude. He's very loving. I came in yesterday when Kylie wasn't here. He was sitting on the thing and he was running up to me, jumping me, licking me. So, you know, wherever I go, I've got to find a dog. And uh, Pico is my dog for the next three weeks. And then what's happening next is I'm flying back to London on the 2nd. I've got a job in Spain with the Spanish Tourism Board on the 6th. So, four day turnaround. Um, going out to a place called Cantabria, I think, in the north of Spain, uh, just over from Bilbao, working with the tourism board, marketing the destination, which is obviously going to be great. Bit of sun, bit of Spanish food and tapas. And then after that, I've still got like loads locked in for like October and November. I'm basing myself in London in Canning Town, but I fly, I fly out to Lapland, Rovaniemi, uh, the beginning of November. I'm away for Halloween with my friends in Manchester, and then I think mid-October I'm also going to fly out and catch up with one of my friends in Paris, who just messaged me the other day, said he's got an apartment in Paris with a sofa bed, so I'm just going back to my old roots, you know, just jumping on a plane, jetting off, running with it, and I, I, like I say, I'm absolutely buzzing for it. I feel like as much as you're happy in a relationship and you feel like you've got freedom, you're essentially still got someone that you need to compromise with and you have to run things by, and now I'm like... I've got ultimate freedom. I've got the platform, I've got the job, I've got a way of making money online as I move, and I'm just very excited to get back out there and not rely on just sitting and waiting for jobs to come in, but actually taking my money and saying, do you know what, what do I wanna do with this? Let's fly to LA, let's fly to Hawaii, Japan, whatever it is, let's make some plans and hit some places and some bucket list destinations and, and document it, because essentially that's all I ever wanted to do in my life, and I think sometimes you get a bit trapped in your comfortable stage, COVID hit, the narrow boat, it's all very, easy going and very comfortable, but now I uh, now like, it's like the reins are off, full steam ahead man, watch out the way, we're coming through, so very exciting things ahead, uh, obviously buzzing to spend some time with Ragnar as well, if you, again, I always relay back to Instagram because that's my day to day stuff, you see Ragnar on the stories man, he's is, is a babe, Rachel and Alex uh, have put me up there and they're really looking after me, I, I obviously appreciate, I appreciate the support network and just the friendships that I've got around me right now because I know that I can always pull strings and I can always rely on people if I need stuff and, and that's been a huge, huge realisation over the past uh, couple of months. So yeah, that's like my life update. I think I covered everything. Lauren, uh, what I've been up to, Lake District, Edinburgh, all the van stuff in the UK, moving to London, selling the boat at some point, getting a new boat, keeping the van, just networking and meeting with some great people. Um, been on a few dates, so it's all very interesting. I'm fresh to it all, but I'm here for it, man. It's, it's all good fun. And, and yeah, as you can see, hopefully, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. I don't want this to be like a feel sorry for me, sad vlog. It was just like, get the updates out of the way. I feel like I owe it to you guys to, to let you know what's going on and be as open and as honest as possible. And then, yeah, just update you with life right now. I like, I'm in America. I'm in America, I'm here for everything. I'm here for all the tacos, all the food, all the madness. Um, yeah, Kylie's definitely got some contacts. She works at a place called Cedars Sinai, which is like one of the best hospitals, I think, in, well, in LA, in America, in the world. I don't know what it is. I Googled it and she's like a, she's actually a hand surgeon because I know people will probably be interested in what she does. So she does like reconstructive surgery on people's hands. She does other like plastic surgery and bits and bobs as well, but she mainly focuses on uh, hand surgery, which is incredible. She was showing me some of the photos and stuff that she does at work. Like she, it is insane. I think she was saying she takes pig's bladder and uses like the stem cells to 
reconstruct and make it. So like a year later, people have got full hands and fingers again that may have been chopped off. Or yeah. It's a bit grimy for me, man. It made me a bit pukey, but fair play to people that can do that. And on top of that, she's very passionate about like going out. She's just got back from like Ethiopia and Mozambique where she's done like medical missions and she has like a non-profit organization. So I'm talking to her about that. I'll probably relay that to you in other vlogs. I'll get her involved as well. I've also got some friends out here that I'm going to meet up with. So I'm going to be vlogging around with lots of different people, getting them involved as well as doing a lot of solo stuff. So yeah, it's exciting times, man. Exciting times ahead. Hope you guys are all good. It's very weird because when I end a vlog, it's normally like, hope you're all good, guys, and I'm on my little narrowboat in England, and now I'm out here. But wherever you are in the world, I hope you're good, man. I hope you're surviving. I hope you're thriving, more than just surviving. And I hope you carry on following this journey because I know about just as much as you do as to where this thing could go and what's gonna happen with it. So the thought of the unknown is absolutely thrilling. <laughs> I'll leave it like that. I'm going to sign out. Um, I'll catch you guys very soon on the next one in Los Angeles.